Monday, the Monroe County Sheriff's Department released a detailed list of the results of their felony drug investigation so far this year. It adds up to 59 felony drug charges, and they're on pace for 180 felony drug cases this year. Stephen Pimpo spoke with the sheriff today to dive deeper into what these statistics mean for Monroe County. He's live in the studio. Stephen. Andrea Winston, that's right. Sheriff Kevin Crook says that the goal of releasing these drug numbers is to give the people of Monroe County an honest look at the drug situation, as well as which drugs are causing the most problems. The sheriff says that overdoses are on the rise over the last few years, and they've found that the deadlier the drug, the more popular it is. 15 cases of selling meth, three counts of selling cocaine, and over 20 counts for possession of meth, cocaine, and hydrocodone. Those are just some of the 59 felony drug charges filed by the Monroe County Sheriff's Department this year. Some areas are, you know, more prevalent in cocaine, some areas more in methamphetamine, some areas more in marijuana, you know, heroin. Seem like it's been on the rise. Monroe County Sheriff Kevin Crook says that while these numbers show drug activity increasing, the investigations leading to drug arrests are going up as well. The sheriff says all these charges are the result of at least 10 felony drug arrests a month so far this year. We will use, you know, undercover agents to go in and and do a deal, make a buy, see where this investigation will take us, if it'll take us to someone else, the bigger fish, so to speak. However, Lieutenant Michael Loden of the Narcotics Division and Sheriff Crook both say many of these drug offenders are starting young. These younger people are being brought up, you know, into this. They're being raised into it. Sometimes by no choice of their own. We are having to make arrests for ch uh, felony child abuse um, because of infants being born with, with drugs in their system. Between the time of their arrest and the time they go to court, Sheriff Crook says they continue to try and counsel them on taking steps towards rehabilitation. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want. We don't want them locked up. We have to lock them up, we will, but we want them to be clean. We want them to be productive. Sheriff Crook says that they've had 17 felony drug cases presented to a grand jury this year, and all of them have led to indictments.